Buddy, it's Count HD here. Brands a brand new video today. We'll be buying or selling Cardinals free agent stock. So with that being said, let's hop straight into it. We'll go ahead and start off with Zach Ertz. Zach Ertz, we made the uh, kind of late trade for him. You know, uh, he fit pretty well towards the end of the season. Him and Kyler finally got that connection going. And he did pretty good. Getting over 600 yards with us, I mean, it's pretty good for only being there or what uh was it nine weeks yeah about nine weeks that's pretty good it put up 600 and it, i'm not gonna lie i think it's a crucial thing that we bring him back and that we buy into this we need zach Ertz. okay we we have max williams coming back that's gonna be really nice okay now max williams is another signing we're gonna need but if we can get him back too and have this two tight end combo that like that we've never had, that it's just going to be really lethal and it would be a just game changer to our offense. A Chandler Jones. Now, Chandler, I'm not going to lie, for this season, he did kind of have an off season in a way. It And it's true. Because we're used to seeing above like 15, 16 sacks and we only got 10 and a half out of him this season. Which I won't lie, he did miss. He did miss uh, like two games, I believe, to COVID. But nonetheless, though, he did underperform. Still got to look at what he did: ten and a half sacks, six forced fumbles, and thirty-one tackles. Now I'm not gonna lie. Thirty-one tackles is really low for someone like him. Okay, now I think that number should be highly highly improved but he still had a very good season okay and it might not be what we're used to but it's still very good nonetheless say we buy but we can't we can only buy if the price is right because Chandler he's a free agent you know he's been the best pass rusher in the league for a while and, you know, it's going to be tough for us to hang on to someone of this caliber. So if we can find a way to get him to come back under the right contract, I I say bye. We got James Conner. We got Conner on a very low deal going into this season. Okay, it, it was really a make-or-break year for him. And, you know, a lot of people didn't believe in him coming in and thought it was just, you know, a uh, just kind of final destination for him. But he proved that it's not his final destination. He got over 18 touchdowns and over 1,000 yards total. Let's be honest. If we did not have James Conner, would we you know, have been the seed we were? I say no. Being completely honest, the amount of plays this man made for us is just insane. Now, injury did hold him back a little, missing three games. But you know what? The amount he produced in only 14 games is so good that we have to bring him back. We need a buy into this stock. James Conner put up 18 touchdowns. That is absolutely electric. Hey, he, he was second in touchdowns scored. On the year behind Jonathan Taylor. Arguably MVP. So I think this is a, has to be an absolute bring back for us. Chase Edmonds bringing in a total of 900 yards and two touchdowns. He did have a decent year for uh, being our backup. And I think this is what you want out of a backup. And I feel like he will kind of be hot on the market i'm not gonna lie but thing we have to remember is it all comes down to just how much salary uh salary cap we have and what we want to do to it so in my eyes here it would be a good move but it's also a questionable move because chase has proven himself but we also have you know who's proven that he is he is a guy that we could use so, it is very questionable for us to bring him back after seeing what Eno could do. 
Now, in no way has Eno been the same caliber, but I think Eno could replace Chase if it came to it, and I say we sell on Chase. He has been good for us for a while, but unless unless that contract's right, then I don't think we bring him back. Now we go to AJ Green. I mean, he he did pretty good for himself. Not going to lie, for a receiver everyone thought was dead. Certainly did good with 848 yards and three touchdowns. That's pretty good. It was an amazing signing by Kime. You know, we signed a lot of uh, players that everyone thought had no more hope this season. And, you know, we proved them all wrong. A.J. Green was just one of them. I mean, he came out. No, no one thought... He, no one thought his career or was going anywhere else. But you know what? He came out. He proved them wrong. And you know what? He did good. And it was like a James Conner situation again where it was a make or break kind of season for him. And I feel like we won't be able to get him back after this kind of season. Now, oh, it, like it's going to come down to the time and everything. But I believe you have to look at who else we have here. We have DeAndre Hopkins. We have Christian Kirk. We have Rondell Moore. We now have Antoine Wesley. Those are four. Well, we'll go three pretty good guys. And one that still to prove himself. And I feel like did very well. Okay, now it's a matter of of another contract situation and salary cap. Now, I think what we have right now is good. But if we if we can somehow get AJ Green back, I'd like that. But realistically, I'm selling here. I think he's going to want too much and I think he you know, will be leaving this team after one year. But like I said, I would like to see him back, but realistically, I don't see it happening. And last but not least, Christian Kirk. He He's been with us for four years. This is the first contract that he is eligible to uh, uh, go in free agency. And we have to bring him back. Honestly, we have to. He, he's he been so good for us. I mean, it feels like every time it's like third down, who is the ball going to? It feels like it's always going to Kirk on third downs. And I we just need to bring him back, honestly. 982 yards and five receptions. That's really good. He's got great speed. He knows what he's doing. And I say we buy into the stock. Okay, with us, like I said, AJ Green possibly not returning and wanting too much, that will leave more for us to give Kirk for him to return. Because as much as AJ Green is a weapon, I see Christian Kirk being more of a weapon. He knows our scheme better and knows when to turn around for a football. He... He got more yards, got more touchdowns. He has a better connection with Kyler. It's all around, in my opinion, it's all around better decision for us to go ahead and go with Kirk. That I have just bought into the stock. I just want to put a little uh, contingency plan on there. Don't put him at pump returner. Stop that. Okay? He's a great receiver. Does his job really good. But the amount of times he's ran backwards on punts is just annoying. So bring him back. Don't put him at punt returner. Put Eno or Rondell Moore. Please. But that will be the video. <laughs> if you enjoyed, hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Let me know down below if you agree or disagree. Because I feel like some of these could be questionable and argued. He said, I'll see y'all in the next one. Call out, fourth quarter shorty, no call outs. Don't go to work, baby, just call out. Uh, in the bedroom, all uh, out. Perks on the counter, I can't wait to take them. Blunts on the counter, can't wait to face it. Bad little bitch, yeah, she be my favorite. All my songs, they all on their playlist. I don't really know how to say it, but I'ma say it. I don't really know if she take it, but she can take it. I don't slow it down unless I'm in the matrix. Presidential brain, that bitch like Sarah Palin.